Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Ah, what a nice afternoon. In fact, it was nice much of the day today. Mild temperatures getting into the 60s, a break from the rain that we had earlier. Uh, three degree guarantee, 64 degrees. What do we hit today? Right at 63. So right there in that range, it looks like tomorrow will be cooler. I've got a three degree guarantee that's dropping into the upper 50s. So cooler weather coming in as we have a, a threat for showers and a lot more cloud cover around. Today, right around 60 to 63 throughout the entire Snake River Valley. Uh, in the 40s in Idaho's mountains, although Haley did hit 52 degrees today. Our snow levels as precipitation moves into the mountains running up around 6,000 feet, even higher right now. That'll be the case during the day tomorrow, but Thursday night and Friday, snow levels will come back down in Long Valley. We'll likely see some accumulating snow. Not a lot, but some, and you get above that towards Brundage Mountain, and we'll see some significant snow. We've got precipitation coming in. I've been looking at the latest computer information. And just moments ago, I'm seeing some charts coming in that take us up towards the weekend. It really looks like the bulk of the, our rainfall that's going to come over the next several days will come Thursday night and Friday. Just a soaking rain, and we'll have to watch those snow levels in the mountains. Get ready for some some heavy wet snow in those higher elevations. In the meantime, we're still sitting in the upper 50s right now, so very mild with the cloud cover and the southerly breeze. It's not going to be a very chilly night tonight, but this is right around the high temperature I'm expecting for the day tomorrow, so it will cool down. When showers come in, the temperature probably just won't rise all that much as we go through the day. Look to the south and west of Boise. This is where all of our moisture is right here. A lot of it is still following the jet stream to our west, but that jet stream sagging in our direction, so we're going to get some showers tomorrow. I'm beginning to lean towards not a lot of precipitation during the day tomorrow. There are three computer charts that I'm looking at. One that I like was different than the other two, and that one seems to be maybe the right one to pick for this particular storm system as everything is a little bit different with each storm. I think this may break up a little bit and we'll get what we call rain shadowing over the Owyhee Mountains. Precipitation goes right over the mountains, but when air sinks into the valley, it dries it right out, and so you get less precipitation. So that's a rain shadow effect. Cold air to the west. This jet stream is pumping right in our direction. It'll point right at southwest and central Idaho as we get towards the day Thursday and Friday. That's when the real precipitation comes in. So midnight tonight, a chance for showers to the west. You see a few go through overnight tonight. We're likely to get a little rain, but this is Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock, and it looks like no precipitation in the Treasure Valley. Midday, a chance for a shower or two, but really nothing. And then that's the afternoon. We will likely see a little bit of clearing later in the day. Thursday morning, here comes another system. I think it's dry in the morning, but then we have cloud cover and rain coming in probably later in the day Thursday, more towards Thursday night. That's when we can get some significant precipitation coming in. Right now, for the next 24 hours anyway, not much snow in the mountains, although Brundage Mountain could see 48 inches. That might be a little bit on the high side, though. Forecast for the valley. There you see, right? Uh, chance of some rain showers, but heavy rain coming in from the west. My Treasure Valley forecast coming up for tomorrow. There you see it. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s with a chance for some scattered showers. It will be cooler tomorrow, while in the west central mountains, a rain and snow mixture around 6,000 feet. Same thing in the east Central Mountains, rain and snow. The Magic Valley, you're going to see some scattered showers around as well. But the bulk of the moisture down comes in Thursday night and Friday. Temperatures still in the upper 50s to lower 60s. We may still see lingering showers on Saturday as well. We'll try to get some sunshine on Sunday. Try. We'll try. This is good news for the snowpack. Yes, Great it news. is. All right. Thanks, Scott. If you see some.